Now, I was going to do this video as two separate videos to, you know, capitalize as much as possible on the views between the two, but then I did a bit of digging and really found that there was really pretty much no difference between these two creative Zen Air earbud models. Now, I'll get into the differences in this video, don't you worry, but just don't expect huge differences. There really isn't. Most notably, though, the biggest differences between these two sets of earbuds is really the size. The Pro has a smaller case and also a much smaller earbud too, but not really by much. I must say I do prefer the case of the Air Plus purely for its off-center clasp but it gives it a slightly unique look and feel. Now, the lids both open from the top and have a magnetic seal. Build quality is rather nice as well, with no significant wobble or movements to the hinge. Battery indicators are present on both of them, but on the Pro, you've got several lights on the front and the plus indicator is on the bottom. Both feature status buttons to check the battery life, though one is on the front and the other one again is on the bottom. Taking the earbuds out of these respective cases though and you can also see a difference in size, although this only comes in the stems of each earbud. The bulb at the top looked and felt exactly the same when wearing them. The Pro version looks a bit more refined and the Plus looks a bit more like the traditional AirPod style, especially in the off-white color, like mine are here. Apart from this though, there is no real difference in terms of the physical nature of both earbuds and both come with interchangeable buds to get that right fit and a USB Type-C cable to charge the cases. Both sets, I will say, do look very good, but I must say I do slightly prefer the smaller stem, even though the off-white color is definitely the better color choice is out of the two. Oh, and on paper, there is an hour difference in playtime between the two. Not that I really noticed the difference anyway in that. And I will say now that See, I told you, the difference is worse light. Now, both earbuds did pretty much connect seamlessly to my Google Pixel 7 Pro, and I was able to listen to music within seconds of powering up the headphones. Now, both sets also connected to the Creative app to take advantage of that custom EQ setting, because unfortunately, the frequency response isn't brilliant from the box, and in fact, the Plus performed worse when it came to detail and clarity than the Pro. They seem to favor bass frequencies somewhat, and almost from the get-go, I was removing quite a bit of bass from my music and adding a generous amount of treble. I didn't need to do this on the pros, although there is an EQ where you can get your music sounding perfect. Now, I did fall down somewhat when LE Audio was concerned. Now, you probably already know, but LE Audio is a brand new codec which offers higher quality audio, and it comes with Bluetooth 5.3, which both these earbuds are. However, when I connected the pros and also sometimes the plus version to my Google Pixel 7 Pro, it stated audio LE can connected and then within 10 seconds or so it said audio LE disconnected. The headphones though did still work and they were connected to my phone but I was seemingly losing out on that added quality that the LE codec offers. Maybe it was because I was listening to Spotify on my phone or if I was connected through the creative app on my phone I have no idea really. The pros though did seem to drop that LE feature far more than the plus for me. The pros though do come with the newest LE LC Plus codec, so you can receive unencrypted broadcast quality audio from compatible devices. Both headphones do feature both active noise cancellation and ambient modes, and you can set the sensitivity on both options. The extra that the pros come with is Creative's SXFI codec, which widens the soundstage of your music and gives you a feeling of actually being there. Now, it does work somewhat, I suppose, on older tracks really with lesser quality, like music recorded in the 80s for example, but for newer tracks, yeah, you get the wider soundstage, but the live feeling gets a little lost as newer music is really better mixed anyway. The IP rating between the two is also slightly different with the Creative Zen Air Plus coming in on an IPX4 rating while the Pros come in with an IPX5 rating. However, in reality, it's really not any different. The Plus can handle some light rain and the Pros can handle a bit heavier rainfall. None are going to be submerged in water and you're not going to be swimming in any of them. And sweat, if you're using these as gym headphones, you'll be absolutely fine with both. And for a £20 price difference, to be honest with you, I'd go with the Pros. The Plus 
plus have a nicer case and a larger stem if you like that. And to be honest, if you don't need the added features, then save yourself 20 pounds. But the pros have the better audio quality from Box. And that, to be honest with you, I think outweighs everything else. Now, I'm not sure why Creative thought it would be a good idea to release two earbuds so close in spec. Maybe it's to do with retail real estate where brands flood the market with various model numbers. Phone companies are the worst for this, by the way. But who knows? Anyway, the Air Plus and Air Pros are decent headphones for sure. And a bit of a steal right now if you're in the market for a new set of wireless earbuds. Thank you very much for checking out this video review of the Zen Air Plus and Pros. If you enjoyed it, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below, which one will you go for, the Plus or the Pros? Let us know in the comments down below. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.